Ooh. Right. G'day guys and welcome back. Things are looking pretty grim on YouTube lately. I'm here to ask for your help. No, I don't want you to go out and purchase any merch or sign up to Patreon or anything like that. What I really want you to do is to join the Discord server and forward me videos of the dumbest conspiracies you can think of. You see, due to YouTube's algorithms, I'm finding it more and more difficult to actually find these videos to make fun of. Sure, they're still out there, and I do have a long list of potential, um, I don't want to say targets, but targets. But I need new material. These same old people, you must be getting bored of them by now as well. Today we'll be seeing a new person, somebody I've not covered before, but I have been meaning to. Sadly, most of their videos are up to an hour long. This current video that we'll be doing is eight minutes long. I doubt we'll get through the full eight minutes, but we'll see how we go. Enjoy. My apologies guys, at the start of this video I said it was 8 minutes long, turns out it's only 4 minutes. Now, the time code at the start has been skipped forward a little bit, that's just to get rid of the intro, just in case it contains copyrighted music, because I don't need that drama. Let's just dive on in, shall we? Let me explain how you can destroy demons. I can destroy demons. Oh no, that big old Lucy boy, he's a goner. I tell ya, demon, big one, that. But let me explain something to you. I don't believe in any of that crap. So, is that needed? I, I, do I need to believe in angels and demons? Because it was a mediocre book. A, a very mediocre movie. I, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But I don't, I, I don't talk about the damn books. But there haven't been demons for centuries. Ever since medical science has come along and found that there are mental disorders and things like that. Now, I'm sure what you do does help people. As long as you don't charge them for it, I've got no beef with that. Let's see what you have to say on the matter. I'm often asked what's the difference between deliverance and exorcism. Well, deliverance doesn't always attempt to destroy demons. Why not? Like, if you want to deliver somebody from evil, wouldn't you destroy that demon? Instead of just telling it to piss off? What's to stop it from coming back? You always want to destroy the enemy, you don't want to sit there and go, well, you've been a very bad boy, go out of time out. We'll talk about this later. No, you don't. C could you imagine if the US did that with Bin Laden? Deliverance can refer to many kinds of spiritual intervention. That's why I call myself an exorcist, because I do exorcism. You call yourself an exorcist. Is that ordained by the Pope? The, the person who creates the exorcists? Lets people become exorcists? I know he... I don't know if it was this Pope or the previous Pope wanted to up the number of exorcists around the world. Uh, I, I certainly hope you got your Certificate 4 in Exorcism. Hopefully. If not, are you an unlicensed exorcist? That does want to get a license for exorcism. Order it online? Hmm. 
An exorcist destroys demons. Deliverance doesn't necessarily require demonic manifestations or confirmation. Deliverance can be quiet, calm, and unperturbed. But we've all seen the exorcist. We know how exorcisms are. Loud, green vomity, backwards, upside down, walking upstairs, which was really creepy. That was probably the creepiest scene in that whole movie. Damn, that's a good movie. I think after I finish recording it's something to watch it. I bet you want to watch it now too, don't you? Exorcism is often rowdy, loud, in your face. And I don't do deliverance light. I do heavy deliverance. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You just said that you don't do deliverance. You do exorcisms. And now you're saying you do deliverance. Which one is it? It, it? You're telling me you're an exorcist that only does deliverance. I'm, I'm confused. I don't like being confused. It makes me scared and angry. When I get scared and angry, I lash out like there's some being inside of me. I'm just... Militant deliverance, defiant deliverance, bold deliverance, aggressive deliverance. I name demons. Don't they already have names? Have, 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 you know, I shall call this demon Bob. Bob, be gone. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Is that how that works? I want to meet the demon named Bob. Bob, at me on Twitter. And I bind them. I torment them. I cast them out. I find the source of family bloodline curses down to the exact number of generations. Exorcism, which means interrogation, torment, expulsion, purgation, purification, and the demon's abdication. That's what I do. That's why I'm an exorcist. <sighs> I mean, I am an Adonis. I am fantastic with the women. I have millions of women chasing after me. You see, saying it doesn't make it true. I mean, all, everything I said is true. It's totally true. Oh, oh. All right. I got, they're beating on the door right now. You can't hear it because of my sound suppression. They are pounding on my door. Even though we are in lockdown, they are still pounding on my door. Deadly serious. Serious as this guy. And by God's grace and the power of Jesus Christ, I feel I am called to destroy demons. I feel I am called to create a new channel on the hub and make... Never mind. I'm confused about this whole God and Jesus thing. Aren't, aren't they the same person? Like the, the, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they're, they're meant to all be the same being. How can you call on the power of three when they're just the one? This has always confused me. Can somebody please explain it to me? I have no idea. I, I've, I've, I've never known religion. So I don't understand how three things can be one. And some of, some of you even say you pray to Mary, mother of Jesus. Is she, is she the Holy Spirit? I mean, it, it's my understanding that she banged the Holy Spirit, and that's how Jesus came about. But then it wouldn't be God's son. It's the Holy Spirit's son. So that's why they're the three, because otherwise she was an adulterous whore. And that wouldn't be very good for Christianity now, would it? Hmm. Oh dear. Frankly, I'm getting a little tired of hearing puffed up preachers call themselves apostles and prophets. Who does this? 
they, they, they're cult leaders. The, the people in the church don't, don't call themselves prophets or apostles. The last prophet was Muhammad. And well, he was just a child rapist, really. A, uh, a file of the pedestrian kind. One might call him a pedo file. Ah, huh. again, that wouldn't be good for Islam. Oh well. We have far too many apostles or prophets and too few exorcists. Cool. Sign me up. I'll be an exorcist. I'll say, demon, get the fuck out. Get, get out. Now. No, don't. Do you not want it here? Piss off. No one likes you. Get out. And you watch. Do you watch all these demons? They will march right on out. And then, when they get out, you smack them in the head with a hammer. Pretty simple. Not rocket science. They have so many who want the prophetic that has become pathetic. What we need are spiritual warriors who fight demons. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> prophetic, pathetic. They sound similar. Oh man, you are a funny guy. <laughs> no wonder you can get rid of these demons. Oh, with these jokes, the demons should be right. Not deliver ambiguous prophetic messages that sound like they were ripped from the headlines of Fox News. I read this week that some prophet has seen orange and purple angels. Well, we need to see our fiery red demons and send them back to hell where they belong. What you need is to see a psychiatrist, because if you're seeing fiery red demons or whatever the fuck the first one was... You need to take some serious medication and get some serious help before you harm yourself or those around you. Oh, wait. No, sorry. If you're talking to God, it's fine. If God talks back, you're insane. Well, this is kind of like God talking back, isn't it? You're seeing. You have it hallucinations, clearly. And what is with this red demon thing? Isn't that something that was like created by Disney or something stupid like that? I, I would have thought that demons being fallen angels would, would be, well, they, they aren't quite as nice looking as everyone seems to think. If I can find some images that aren't copyrighted, like if I find some, I will put them here of what angels look like. And I'm sorry for the nightmares you will have afterwards. If I don't find the images, just Google it. Just Google what angels of the Bible look like. It will blow your mind. Consider these scriptures. Mark no. 1, 23 through 24. Now, there was a man at a synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Leave us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus? Have you? Come to destroy us? Maybe this... Look, I've already done the whole Jesus didn't exist thing. But if he did, maybe he was a prick. Maybe this guy was just minding his business and Jesus has come along and started saying all this you know, crap to him. And he's like, have you come to make fun of me and pick on me? There's nothing wrong with me, Jesus. Look, you've got your 12 buddies with you. You come ganging up on me. Piss off. Leave me alone. Yeah, but consider that. I mean, if I'm out by myself and some dude comes up to me and he's got 12 of his buddies around, you know, I, I might act a little crazy just so that they'll piss off and leave me alone. I'm not above it. I'm not above that at all. Hell, I'll do it if one person comes up to me. First John 3, 8 says... For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might what? Destroy the works of the devil. Which devil? There are so many. Apparently, you keep exercising them. Either you're not doing a very good job. God's not doing a very good job. 
or they don't exist. Uh, why would why would why would God allow these demons to inhabit the body of a human? I thought God was supposed to be all loving, all knowing, all powerful. Yet he makes he allows these demons to inhabit the bodies of humans. Humans who have done nothing wrong. They go about living their lives. Who cares if they believe in Jesus or not? That's no reason for God to say, hey, there's a body, jump in that one. That's sick. Who would want to worship something like that? Like the word deliverance, the term spiritual warfare means many different things to both Christians and non-Christians. New Agers use the term. I use the term for when I go to battle with Sir Sick over whose whiskey it is. Look, I want all the Jack Daniels. He can have the rest. I don't care. That is my spirit warfare, all right? You pass this message on to him. Sick, Jack Daniels is mine. You have the rest. I don't care. Have all the Glen Fetic. All the Glen Lev. I don't care. Jack Daniels is mine. Mine. They use those words spiritual warfare to describe combat against negative energies or dark alien forces battling against the light, whatever that means. Okay, so... When they do it, it's whatever that means. It's crazy, right? Of course it is. It's it's fucking stupid. Battling against the, the, the darkness. Ooh, and the aliens. But at the same time, wouldn't a demon be alien to a human body? Shouldn't you guys be on the same side? You, you're kind of doing the same thing. They smoke weed. They're dirty hippies. And they want to get the, the demons out of them. They smoke weed and they're like, hey man, it's nice and chill now. But you go to a church and you say, the power of Christ compels you. Get the fuck out. It's, uh, it's a different sort of drug, but it kind of is still a drug. Even among evangelical Christians, spiritual warfare can have a watered down application. Spiritual warfare, to those who don't actively practice deliverance and exorcism, often signifies almost any kind of prayer or Christian activity that is moderately exposed to evil. Isn't that what praying does? It keeps the evil at bay? So, it, it, in a way, it is this spiritual warfare? Good pose. I like this pose. But real spiritual warfare addresses demons directly by name and assignment and strips these evil powers of their ability to torment. Cool. Bob the Accountant Demon? That's the one I want to meet. Bob the Accountant Demon. Because look, hell is a place, all right? It's going to have accountants that are demons because they've got to keep count of all the souls. So they've got to account for souls. So, Bob, the accountant demon, at me on Twitter, right? I want to chat. I want to hear your side of the story. Why? Why did you go out there and inhabit Stephen from down south? That's, that sounds good to me. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll tell your side of the story for him. Instead of always hearing from the preachers, let's hear from the demons for once. What have they got to say? Yes, you can probably tell by now I am taking the piss, the absolute piss out of this guy. Because it's just ridiculous. <laughs> let's continue. Consigning them to the pit, spoken of in Revelation 20. There's another scripture to consider. No. Matthew 8, 28 through 29. When he had come to the other side of the country, to the Gergesenes, there met him two demon-possessed men, coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce, so that no one 
to pass that way. And suddenly they cried out saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come to torment us before the time? I'm going to add this to my list of things that totally happened and are 100% historically accurate and verifiable. That just, I mean, a couple of dudes coming out of a tomb. <sighs> it could have been, you know, Tomb Raiders, Grave Robbers, Gay Lovers. Who knows? knows and and who said that the demon possessed what makes you say they were demon possessed it, can you tell just by looking at somebody that they're demon possessed i mean they could have been on meth some of those people geez they look possessed they're not they're on meth meth is a hell of a drug don't don't do meth it it makes you look Fucking retarded. More retarded than you know. If you've seen my videos, you know who I'm talking. I know you know who I'm talking about. We all know who he is. <laughs> Fake. In these last days, more than ever, we need anointed men and women of God who will destroy demons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just skip over that part of the Bible where it says something about women being quiet and wearing hats or some such passage. I am not that familiar with the Bible. So how can you have women of God? They're, they're, if this is according to the Bible, not me. Don't send your hate to me. Women are simply, you know, objects. They're, they are nothing. That, that is why they are treated with such high respect in the world of Islam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, fuck Islam. But how can you have women of God? There was a huge uproar when some woman became a priest. And then there was that TV show with Dawn French. That was fucking hilarious. I love that show. can't remember what it was called. Oh. That was so good. I feel like a chocolate orange now. Because fuck it. It's my chocolate orange. And my... What is it with Brits wanting to take everything from me? Chocolate orange? Whiskey? Look, I'm older than six. I deserve that whiskey. I will fight you. For the time of God's final judgment. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. Do I need to say anything at this point? Financial support and prayers to those in need. I'm in need. I, I'm not getting any of that financial support. So I think, I think they're lying. They're, don't support them. I don't even subscribe to them. Go watch their videos, they could be fun. But don't send them any hate. Anyway. Outro. Now I'm serious. You you go tell Sir Sig there's my bloody whiskey. Alright? Oxy first. I only want the Jack Daniel. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, a special thank you to my high tier patrons Purple Haze, Caustic, Lisa, and Jed, and as well to the other patrons. And a super special thank you to Purple Haze. She knows why. And to you, my friends, remember don't be a dick. There are no dicks. Satan!